Dang it. Oh. I'm up in Big Bear today and we're gonna go up to Holcomb Valley at least that's the name of it I've never been up here on this part of the trail before so we're on an adventure I have no idea what we'll find and we're going places I've not been before and we'll see how it goes join me for an interesting life overland Well, we've come to the first decision point of the day, <clears throat> first big intersection, and I think we're going to bear left. Should be a campground over here. This is absolutely beautiful. Big pine forest, stunning. I think we'll go the right side, which is a little bit more sensible. He says as he goes up and over that big rock. Wow. So, had a great afternoon, been running around, found great trails, kind of lost a little bit, but that's okay, because that's part of the adventure, is finding out where you are. About ready to set up camp. One of the great things about learning to be a good overlander is learning about the natural environment where you are. This big boy right here, if you stick your nose in him, he smells just like vanilla. This is a Jeffrey Pine. Now, when you're overlanding, nobody likes to be uncomfortable. So I've set up myself a small toilet tent, which is a good distance away from the living areas with my sleeping and my cooking areas. And it makes life a lot easier. It was designed for the military originally because the materials soak up stuff, become solid very fast. When you're done, you just roll up the little plastic bag and you throw it away. Literally throw it away. No smell, no fuss, no muss. Especially if you're taking around um, members of the fairer sex, they usually appreciate having a really good potty. As you can see, I've moved the cooking station from one side of the Jeep to the other. The wind shifted, of course. Let me get some dinner on. Oh, and don't let anybody make any mistakes. Us guys like being comfortable too, no matter what I said earlier about the fairer sex. The sun just set, like just a few minutes ago. So it's about 7.30 at night here. So I've got about two hours until 9.30. And 9.30 is when actual nighttime starts. And with any luck at all, that's when I'll be able to see the Milky Way. 
and I'm going to try and take some pictures. I've been playing with the camera, and I'm pretty happy with it. And we'll see what happens. It was definitely worth coming up this road. We've been coming up through the big pines, having a great time. A uh, few little hill climbs with the Jeep, absolutely fabulous. We get up onto the top of this hill, though, and this hill, this ridge, is the crest between the high desert behind me and the San Bernardino Mountains in front of me. Absolutely amazing. Behind us here is the Lucerne Valley. Well, it's been a great day driving. Found a beautiful spot. Let's make camp. It is our duty as gentlemen to lead interesting lives. It is now exactly five o'clock. So the sun is over the yard arm and it's time for a gin and tonic. Remember, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. Cheers. Wow. Doesn't everybody enjoy a good campfire when you're out camping, you're out on the trail, a little bit of overlanding, beautiful afternoon, getting ready for evening? Yeah, me too. So, let's put another log on the fire here, and we'll get ready to go... What? What? I can't have a campfire here? Oh. How? Dang it! Oh. Actually, there's a very good reason that you can't have campfires in unauthorized places here in the San Bernardino National Forest. This is Southern California. It is very, very dry out here. The last thing anybody needs is a raging forest fire. Now, I have a lot of experience camping. I've had many, many, many fireplaces. I've had many campfires, as have many people here. So why can't we just do it? Well, look around. You can see all of the dry tinder on the ground. But I'm careful. I know what I'm doing, right? Well, that's true. But that's not the whole story. The fact of the matter is, there are fire lookouts on different places around the mountains around here. And they know where to expect fires. So when they look across the valley and they see smoke coming up from where they expect a campground to be, or another campground, or an authorized place, they know it's okay. But when they see smoke from a fire here, there's not supposed to be a fire here. So even though my fire is in control, they will still roll out fire protection services to make sure that this is not a forest fire. And that's not good. So, as with everything, we just play by the rules. So, I'll cook tonight, but we won't have a campfire. And as much as I love s'mores, as much as the next guy, it's just part of the deal. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Good morning. Oh, what a great night. 
And look what a beautiful morning it is. Sun's just coming up. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. But you know what this means? Time to pack up and go home. But first, time to put the kettle on. Because it's very important to have good tea. So we'll pack up this morning, we'll go home. Get ready for the next one. Remember, be kind, be brave, and live an interesting life. Thanks for joining me on this little weekend's adventure. Sure glad to have you along. Remember to only take memories, leave footprints, and tread lightly. Like and subscribe if you will. See you next time.